cookies and milk. Mix. Frogs and sneakers. Sort of mix. But kids and alcohol. Don't mix. Let's take a closer look at the central nervous system to see exactly what it does, what alcohol does to it, and what that does to you. The central nervous system, which is made up of the brain and spinal cord, is your body's information superhighway. Electrochemical messengers called neurotransmitters move through more than 100 billion neurons, carrying messages along the spinal cord between your brain and every part of your body. So your brain can receive information from your organs, interpret it, and send back appropriate instructions, all in an instant. These instructions allow you to do pretty much everything, from dancing, to playing video games, to digesting your food. When the central nervous system is impaired by alcohol, it's like a traffic jam. Nerve cells in the brain are becoming less excited, which slows the flow of information to and from your brain. As a result, drinkers can experience difficulty thinking, weakened vision and hearing, slowed reaction time, slurred speech, memory loss, and more. Just how much does alcohol slow down the central nervous system? That depends on how much and how fast you drink, whether alcohol is mixed with other drugs, and personal factors like the drinker's weight, gender, and genetics. As a young person with a still-developing brain, alcohol can have a stronger effect on you than on adults. Learning the facts can help you make healthy decisions. So say yes to a healthy lifestyle and no to underage drinking. To learn more, visit asklistenlearn.org.